Hey guys, today I'm talking about planning your holiday cocktail party circuit wardrobe and where to start and what to do. So ground zero for this look is really the LBD, the little black dress. But to me, something happened along the way in the sort of 90s into the 2000s and editors and bloggers and everybody was like, make sure it's a classic, make sure it's so simple. And all of a sudden it turned into the little boring dress. It all of a sudden got to be this sleeveless black sheath dress that can go anywhere and do anything, including to a funeral, which is what most of them started to look like. So I say the whole point of a little black dress, especially during holiday, is that it's like this little rock star that travels around with its own spotlight that doesn't need any effort. You can self-style, as they say, meaning pull it on and go. So be really careful if you are shopping for an LBD this season that you don't fall for something that is on some beautiful model or some perfect mannequin, and then you get it home and you're like, you know what? Oh my God, it's boring. So choose black dresses with details that you fall for and that you like. I always have a rule of thumb where if something is really short, then no cleavage. If there's a bit of cleavage, then maybe keep it to the knee or just below or longer. But giving it away in both halves to me is just not my kind of equation. Again, it really comes down to the type of vibe that you want to put out there. So for me, I love something with a little bit of flounce, a little bit of volume in the lower half in the form of almost a mini dress. This is by Greta Constantine. It's got this beautiful sort of eyelet detailing on it, this heavy netting underneath, which gives us this kind of dramatic black swan quality. And then it's got this gorgeous, really low dipping keyhole in the back. I wear this dress with black leather high tops. I've never worn it with heels. So you have to think that if you want to inject some serious personality into whatever it is that you're putting out there, try and contrast. The other thing you can do, if you don't have an LBD, but you're perpetually needing something that really screams cocktail, try finding a cape or have one made. This is mine and it's got this high drama sort of movement to it. And I wear this thing with jeans and sneakers and some cool little blouse. Uh, I'll also wear it over a dress. I've actually worn it over this dress, but make sure that you have something that can throw on and in an instant make your outfit cool, that you're not going to be super hot in because a lot of these parties are cranked in the heat department once you get inside if it's really cold outside. Another thing that I like to do is I sometimes buy dresses based on my comfort level but also looking for pieces that add some serious sex appeal. So this is a dress I got off Shop Up and I love it because it's got these really heavily padded shoulders. I don't know if it shows on here. I wore this dress to the Grammy Awards this year. I knew it would be cold inside where we were sort of waiting to go in. I also knew it would probably be a really hot day and I also knew that I wanted enough coverage on camera especially when he was behind me and shooting me from the side so I didn't want to have to worry about things like fashion tape and none of us do and in the age of Instagram and everybody taking selfies and people posting photos of you and you're not quite sure which ones they're going to use I like the idea of just a little bit of coverage and your cute little figure will be shown off thanks to cinching the waistline with something like a cute little belt like this. I also wear this with sort of like an art deco vintage belt that I found in Palm Springs that's just sort of gold and drippy and beautiful and high drama. But a dress like this will go a long, long way for you. Another dress that'll go a really long way, and I know this seems like a total entertainment reporter thing to have, <laughs> which I am by the way, but the gold sequin dress adorable. This dress has interviewed Matt Damon. He didn't say he liked it, but I'm sure he did. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I'm wearing it backwards, um, or I like to wear it backwards. It's got this really low dip in the back, which is intended for whatever, showing a little bit more chest area. I don't like to do that, so I like the high crew neckline. Oh, look, I lost the strap, so that's okay, because this actually will show you the swing on this dress. So this is actually designed to be really full and to have a lot of movement, which I love, but on those nights where you just want to have a little bit of hip and to show off your silhouette, lose the belt and just rock it the way that it is. Another really cute trick for holiday is to have a really basic black, super co cozy, this is a kind of a mohair um, cardigan that's got some kind of witchy swing to it. I wear this, honestly, I look like a witch when I wear this and I love the vibe so much. It's super Paris. <laughs> I'll wear it with a black, sort of a silky tank and this long, dramatic, silky skirt, and, or not silky skirt, but like a sort of a chiffon skirt and my cowboy boots and a black felt hat. And I literally am like, guess what? This is the mood I'm in. This is my look. 
if you don't like it, then we don't have to hang out. And everybody's like, I love your outfit! I'm like, I knew it! So adding brooches to something like this really injects a really fun vibe. So if you don't want to be like the brooding witchy person in the corner, put on something like this and people are like, oh, I love that. Like little instant vintage touches that will really take your look over the edge and make, I don't know, your outfits seem a little bit more approachable. Although some nights I don't want to be approached. Next, I love the look of a tuxedo pant. Never underestimate the power of the gender bender trouser. For me, these are amazing. I'd wear them high-waisted, maybe with a white blouse tucked in, opened up a little bit, pop up the collar. I've added on a vintage belt here that just really adds this bejeweled, I don't know, sex appeal. Um, but never, ever don't think, oh, well, it says cocktail or it says dressy. Just because it says dressy does not mean you need to wear a dress. You can totally wear trousers and heels and still look like a mega bombshell. Another really good trick at holiday is shopping a uh, consignment source. I picked this up um, at one of my local consignment shops and I absolutely dig it because it's got this built-in bejeweled neckline. It cinches in if you want it. It's sleeveless. It's got cute little keyholes. I think it's Roberto Rodriguez or Robert Rodriguez, is it? Yeah, it's Roberto Rodriguez. But anyways, it's adorable and it's a piece that you can throw on with jeans, you can throw on with black pants, you can throw over a skirt and then go between parties with, right? So that's always key is being able to be cross-platform with your outfit and moving between a bunch of invitations. Another really great trick that'll take you to a few different parties in one night is the velvet tartan heel. To me, nothing says holiday better than tartan. These are drees, these are workhorses of mine, and I love that they've got some black in them, but they also fold in pink. I never wear pink. I think I posted recently, like, don't ever make me wear pastels. I don't have anything against pastels, but I wear a lot more black than I do in, of lighter colors, and so for me, these are a great contrast, and they're a little bit outside the box. So always consider something like that. And again, if you are moving between different cocktail parties and you've got a few different invitations to read and you're like, like right now I'm wearing a lace bubble skirt with a flannel plaid button up. Am I insane? No, I'm cross platform. I can go between parties. And a bag like this will let you do that. So if you're going to something and you're like, there's no way I can wear plaid flannel to this party without looking like an idiot which I would never say you did. I'm sure you're gonna look adorable. But if you did, you want to have the option to change in the car or duck into a powder room somewhere and have a bag that's big enough. So be careful not to choose some beautiful, elegant, little teeny tiny bag that'll only fit your purse and one key and a lipstick. So having something that's got an elegant vibe to it, this is Stella, that'll still fit stuff like maybe a pair of ballet flats if you know you're gonna rip it on the dance floor later, or a pair of flip flops if it's summertime or whatever it might be just having a bit of a parachute by way of a cocktail dress is one of the most important things for your entire holiday season and next and lastly be sure to really read the invitation because so many women will say to me well Susie you know what it says casual cocktail on the invite and what does that mean so when you are designing the dress code or you're conjugating the dress code really try and narrow down what it is you want to put out there so if it is formal then that's not the time to be wearing your plaid flannel but if it is casual then yeah maybe that's also not the time to be wearing your cocktail dress so the best for me are the ones that just say show up you know bring wear whatever you want cocktail swishy drama whatever the description and I'm bouncing between parties where my outfit will glide between five or six invitations in one night. Wherever you guys go, I hope you have an amazing time and maybe I'll see you on the dance floor. If you liked today, remember to like the video below and we'll see you next time. Have fun at the party.